Oh, hey, y'all, everybody. Welcome to this next. I'm your host, Brett Harrelson with Glide. And today we're going to be talking all about Glide's brand new certification. So I'm super excited you're here. Get your coffee ready. Let me know in the chat where you're coming in from. I love seeing where all of our amazing community lives and, and where you're checking in from. So here's what we're talking about today. Today, we're going to we have a very special guest talking all about the certification with us. We're going to talk about the certification. We'll have a demo and then we're going to talk about a cool community challenge we're launching with this. So joining us today to talk about this is none other than Kate with our education team at Glide. Hi, Kate. Hello. Thanks for having me again. I'm so glad. You know, it wasn't that long ago that we did one of these and it was a, we yeah. launched the LMS. How's Glide's LMS going, by the way? It's doing fantastic. We actually just shared out that we just passed a thousand active learners. So these are folks who have signed up to create accounts to learn with us in Clyde University, which is super exciting. We also have thousands of visitors every day because you you don't have to sign up to view all of our resources. You can just come look. And we have dozens of creators making new content for people. So it's going really well. I love this community creating content to teach others. This is fantastic. We've got Southern California, New York, India, Kiel, Germany, look at them all over the place. This is fantastic. So let's jump into this. This is a brand new certification. And Kate, tell us what is, why is it important for people to become Glide certified? Yeah. So Anybody can make Glide apps, right? That is part of why we build Glide the way that we build it. We want it to be relatively easy for folks to pick up and build apps. But then we were thinking, how do you differentiate yourself from just anybody who builds apps? How can you show that you have more of an advanced proficiency, a skill set around building apps in Glide? If you're just a, a regular professional person, you might want to do that so that you can put something more on your resume, on your LinkedIn, show your skill set to your team and your employers. And if you're someone who is like an expert or has an agency, it allows you to show that you have taken the time to get certified, you have a proficiency in Glide, you know how to use it, you've passed this test. And so we wanted to give people a way to really validate that and also have sort of more of an official position ourselves on what Glide best practices really are. So we're, we're sharing that with folks. We're allowing them to get certified. And we're really, really excited to see where this goes. This is just level one, but we anticipate that we will have more certifications in the future. I love this. Everybody's excited so much to hear what we've been baking, what you've been baking, and where we're going to go with this. One of the things that I, I do want to kind of uh, iter talk about is, is there are some legacy Glide certifications out there. And the first iteration of the experts program was a certified expert badge. And so one thing I will address moving into this, because I know there's a lot of experts here, is all experts who want to be certified with this, with this particular certification, you need to get certified again with this new one. So by the way, just for, for those experts, you don't need to complete all of the coursework. Passing the test is sufficient. And I will say this, this, like you just said, Kate, this is level one. So I think for a lot of our OGs, this probably will be pretty easy for you. So, but also one other thing I'll touch on, I will be, up, we will be updating the certified expert requirements and there will be a badge there and I will share that soon. So it will be coming back. So I'll tackle that right before we get into any of this, but I just want to make sure that we, we, we hit that. So Kate, this is level one. What should we expect in this certification? Yeah, so there's two parts essentially. There's course content and then there's an assessment that you have to pass. And so the course work is about six hours of content and it's not required that you sit through it. It's not one of those things where we're tracking if you've watched the whole video and you can't move on unless you watch it. It's not, it's not like that, it's self-paced. So it's six hours of course content that is there for you should you need it. Um, if you're someone who is an expert, you might not need it. You might already be very familiar with all of that information. But if you're newer to Glide and you want to make sure that you're reading up on all of our best practices and what we chose to include, it's there for you. So it's six hours of course content. There's these four topics, which I'll go into when I um, demo it. We'll break that down. And then there is a 30-question assessment. It's untimed, so you can take your time. 
I encourage you to take your time because it's pass fail, but you must score 25 out of 30 or higher. So if you go too quick and, and you get them wrong, then you will have to take it again and you can take it again. We, we allow you to do retakes. So it's the six hours of course content and then one 30 question assessment after you complete it. But that badge, look at that sparkly badge. So Kate, who is this available to? Who can get certified? So anybody can get certified and it's totally free. So anybody who uses Glide can come on in to the LMS, get certified for free. You'd have to sign up for an account in the LMS so that we can keep track of your badge, but that's all you have to do. That's the only barrier. And how long is one of these uh, certificates valid for? It's good for one year, one year from the issue date. So from whenever you pass the test, not from when you start looking at the course content. Amazing. Look, we already have, look, we have people firing it off. Darren, you're a go-getter. We know it. We know it. So, <laughs> so Darren's already certified. So this is great. So by the way, what's so interesting and great about this is that this is, Glide wants to be an industry standard. You can see there's some fantastic companies that do really, really in-depth learning education with great certifications. And we have so much, so much planned here. And we're really excited to launch this today for everybody. We'll get into that in just a second. But before we do, I want to share something really awesome. This is our certification video that Jack from Glide uh, narrated. I want to share this with y'all and then we're going to do the demo. So let's watch this video. We built Glide so that anyone can build exactly the software they need. But even though Glide makes it way easier and faster, to build great software, you still need great skills. And the best experts know Glide so well that building just becomes second nature. Instead of thinking about or researching how to do each particular step, building in Glide becomes just like working in a document, except you're just making an entire app at once. Whatever use cases you're trying to build in Glide, Glide certification is about helping you get to this point. Or if you're already experienced and running an entire agency, you can just pass the test and just validate your skills for yourself or particularly for your clients. Level one certification will walk you through the best practices in Glide. We don't just cover the basics, we talk about security, automation, and really just getting the most out of the way that you work. At the end, you'll have proven that you've mastered the fundamentals and you'll be able to differentiate yourself from other developers. Showing data in Glide is pretty easy, but Glide can do so much more. And when you know how to pull all of this stuff together to make anything that you or your clients want, it feels pretty powerful. So this will be the first step in your journey. Come and join us in Glide University and we look forward to seeing you there. Looks great. I think I think anything Jack says, I'm just going to go, I'm going to buy in and do it. <laughs> it's a great video. It's a great video. So let's jump into this. Um, Kate, I'm going to bring up your screen. So where do you, where do you want to start? Yeah, let's just take a little peek at the course itself and also what happens once you get certified, how you get that lovely certificate and badge and, and what you can do with it after you earn it. So I've got here, this is the LMS. There is a new tab that folks will notice on the top called certification. And that brings you to our certification level one course inside of Glide University. We've got that video again that we all just watched. And then is four chapters to go through of course content. Um, and let me just make sure, Brett, are you seeing me scroll in the live here? I'm, I'm not, I'm are stuck. you Are you scrolling? Okay. I am, let me refresh. You may need to refresh it. Okay. Oh, here. there we go, we're golden. So we've got the video and then we've got four chapters, which are kind of like courses inside of a course in the LMS. That's like an inside the LMS nerd out thing. And let's take a look at what's inside of each of them. So. It was tough to decide what should be included in the certification because like Jack said in that video, you can build so many different types of apps in Glide. And so there are infinite possibilities about what we could include here. What we decided to do was really think about what is very important when you're building apps for business. What do you need to think about as someone who is developing apps for users and also potentially with secure data that you want to make sure you're protecting with user information, all that kind of stuff. So the four chapters we went with 
were the Glide user interface. How do you actually use the Glide product? Data to layout. So how do you take data sets that you're working with and convert those into visual experiences for your users? Automation and how you add all of that to your workflows and then security. So when you click into any of these, you'll be taken to the individual lessons that are inside of that chapter. And then you can click between the different chapters to go between all of the different topics. And like I said before, it's not required that you sort of sit through all of these videos. We, we didn't block you from being able to continue. It's just here for you if you need it. So there's a mix of different types of resources in every lesson. Some of them have video. Some of them have docs that might have video inside. There's places where you can keep notes. You can't use the notes on the test, but you can take notes as you're learning if that helps you learn. And all of this is just here for you as a resource as you're working through your path to certification. So once you have gone through this content, down here, there will be a button that says, take the test. And I, I got a perfect score on the test, but I would hope so since I made the test. <laughs> and after you take the test, um, if you pass, you will see this widget that looks like mine that says, congratulations, you've passed the test. Come on over to see your certifications. This takes you to your profile in the LMS where we will track all of the certifications that you do. So for now, it's just the one, but in future, they'll all show up here, whichever certifications you have. We can keep track of when it was issued and also when it expired. So you can check it right there in the LMS. And if you click open, we will generate for you that beautiful certificate and also the badge, which you can put on your website. You can upload these to LinkedIn. You can put them far and wide, wherever, wherever you want to show off this professional accomplishment. And to make it easier to do that, we added a button here that will post it right to your LinkedIn. So when well, you that's click an important on this, button. We'll get to that in a yeah, second. Remember that that'll button. That'll be important. <laughs> yeah, for the next step. When you click on this, it actually, as long as you're logged into LinkedIn, it opens automatically the add a certification page in your LinkedIn, and it pulls in all of the information that you need for that module in LinkedIn so that all you have to do is click this button and then hit post, and you've already shared it out with your network. I love that. This is, it's really straightforward. It's a great place to start. I, I, I. I really couldn't agree more, I think, with some of the first fundamental topics to start with Glide because, look, we've got some incredible OG experts that, that build incredible, crazy stuff, but there are also people who are just finding Glide and they want to start mm -hmm. and they want to learn. And this is such a great place to learn. And not only just within this course, but there's con there's there's creator-based content in the LMS and there's mm -hmm. other things. To, so there's there's so much more, but this, I think, is a great place to start. I love this. Yeah. So I, I just popped over to the homepage of the LMS so we could show that in case anyone here hasn't seen that before. So our LMS features lessons and courses made by Glide, but also made by our community. So you can sign up to be a creator in the LMS if you're interested in doing that. And our featured courses right now are all from folks who won our community challenge about making a course for the LMS. So it's a great way for folks to share the knowledge that they have about Glide. And we love to connect our new users to our more experienced users so that they can learn all from each other. So this is, this is what Brett was talking about if anyone in the audience is new to Glide University. I love this. And I think this is an incredible segue, Kate, right into where you talked about our former community challenge when we launched the LMS. We also have a community challenge for our new certification program. So, or a new certification, new certif certificate, English is my first language, our new certification. So I can't even say it. So here we go. So how do you participate? First, we need, you need to go pass the certification test. Then you need to add it to your LinkedIn page, your profile, share your certification in a post and make sure you tag Glide. And you need to do this before October 31st by 9 p.m. And what can you win? You can be one of five people to get an exclusive Glide merch pack. It's going to be cool. I know what's in it. Trust me, it's cool. And, and also 10 randomly selected winners will get $100 in Glide credit. 
And you're going to be showcased on our blog, our community, and social. So get to sort of get your certification. I think I can't wait to see how many experts are going to get this like today. Okay. Like I think it's going to be a million. I can't wait. I, <laughs> that's the number we expect. That's the number we expect. So yeah. This, this is fantastic. So I'm, I'm really excited for this. I know we've worked hard. And here's the other thing I do want to toss out there to our amazing community is tell us what to build for level two and level three. We, we do have some ideas, but what matters to you in your industry and in, in your work? What do you want to learn more of? What do you want a certification for? As, as everybody knows in the community, what you recommend and you want Glide to build, we usually do. So this is a great opportunity to give us some feedback, shape the, shape the course of what we're going to build. So let's do this together. Yeah. When we think about certification at scale, there's kind of two different ways you could go. You could go deeper into topics, like more advanced into whatever theme you've already chosen. So if our theme is basic use of Glide, what does more advanced use of Glide look like? Or you can go sort of more niche and specialized. So different business functions, certifications for people who work in ops or people who work in different departments, marketing, whatever it might be, or thinking about different industries, glide for whatever real estate, glide for whatever your industry might be. So we're really thinking about what would be the most useful to people. And we will definitely come to the community to ask and collect people's thoughts. I love this. I know we we soft launched this a little earlier, sort of in, in, in a beta for, for some of our experts. I'm curious, how many experts, just by a show of hands in the comments, how many of y'all have already passed this exam and you're ready for the next one? I'm just curious. For those of you who haven't taken it, though, you can sign up today at glideapps.com slash certification. You can sign into the learning with our, to our LMS. You can start taking mm -hmm. your certification. You can start the coursework. If you're brand new to Glide, you can learn. If you're an OG, you can skip right to the exam and test your knowledge. Kate, how many, how many questions do you have to get right out of 30 to pass? 25. So Noah's, Noah's already five. into it. He's signing yeah. up. He couldn't even <laughs> wait to the end of this broadcast. He's firing away. I love it. Good. People, people want level three. Like where's level uh -oh. three? <laughs> this is awesome. I love this. Let us know what y'all want in the next level. We're excited to build it for you. Let's keep growing together. This is, this is really amazing. And I, I, I love seeing the, the excitement here. Kate, this is, this is wonderful. So I want to thank everybody for coming. Kate, thank you for being here. Thanks for all your hard work for this. And I look forward to hearing everybody's feedback with, with everything and what we want to build next solely resides in the hands of our amazing community. So yeah. Thanks everybody. Thanks for coming. Good luck out there. Glide on. I can't wait to see what everybody builds. Bye y'all.